hey, thanks for watching. Why don't you go ahead and subscribe? You'll be glad you did. Today, I want to talk about Todd McFarlane. Do you know who Todd McFarlane is? If you're watching this channel, you probably do. He, first and foremost, is a comic book artist. He drew Spider-Man and some other characters. He and some other artists had a falling out with Marvel, etc. Started their own comic book company called Image Comics, and he had his own character called Spawn. Now, he recently gave an interview. I'll put the link to the video down below by Shardimus. Shardimus is a guy on YouTube. Um, he does a lot of toy reviews. He talks about toys. The interview was at Toy Fair. It was a good interview because Todd uh, said a lot of cool things. First of all, Todd is bringing back his Movie Maniacs line. This is Sarah Connor. Todd McFarlane, when he started making toys, he's the one that kind of set the bar for a while. This is a Sarah Connor. It is not NECA. It is Sarah Connor McFarlane. Sarah Connor. Terminator 2. It says Movie Maniacs down here. They came with a poster of the movie with the figure. Um, I also got another example here. This is Ghost in the Shell. I mean, look at that. I mean, I mean, look at that. The thing about uh, McFarlane toys that was always uh, maybe a, a short uh, coming was um, Todd didn't believe in articulation that much because he thought it ruined the figure as far as an artistic piece and I could see that point but most people like articulation more and they prefer art articulation like I do another McFarlane movie maniac McFarlane Snake Piskin Kurt Russell I love that movie I love those movies I made two movies um, but he seems to have come to the understanding that articul articulation is a good thing. So he stated in that video that he's going to be making, bringing back his movie maniacs, hopefully, at least that's what it sounds like from a video, with articulation, more articulation. Because the sculpts, this is uh, darkness from the movie Legend, Ridley Scott's Legend. Look at that. I mean, these were made years ago, and it does have some articulation. You know, it moves a little bit, but not as much as it could. You know, his arm just, uh, there's just, if there was more articulation, it'd be even better. The sculpts are always, were, for the most part, really, really good. But just, you know, if you look at Snake Pliskin here, I mean, his arm just doesn't move, and I wish it would. I mean, it is a work of art. It, it looks great, but, uh, I mean, you look at Sarah here, and I've got a bunch of McFarlane figures because they, they're they so cool. Um, she's got a bicep and, you know, a wrist and a shoulder there, but that's about it. I mean, they're like uh, little statues with a little bit of articulation. There's nothing wrong with that, but we'd like more articulation. That's the only thing I wish that his had, they had articulation. Um, his, he, he, his figures started off pretty well the adult collecting market. And he has some adult, uh, let's say over 18 figures. Uh, that, yeah, that's all I need to say about that. Um, and I've got a few of them, uh, but I mean nothing like triple X, but some adult themed ones. Um, but he's he's gonna bring those back and give us more articulation. And I wish he'd done it a long time ago, but he's doing it now. It's fantastic. 
And he was all fired up because he just got the DC license, you know, Batman and Superman, all them. And he pretty well got an all-encompassing license. He can make anything he wants. And he was really excited because he's drawn uh, some DC figure uh, comics. So we're going to get McFarlane DC figures. How about that? And he made a Spawn movie. Uh, I liked it. I mean, it didn't have a big budget, but I enjoyed that Spawn movie. I watched it a few times. Of course, uh, there wasn't any blood. It was all ectoplasm, you know, green goo uh, instead of blood. That's how they got away with that. And um, they had a cartoon of Spawn that was adult, that was mature themed. Uh, but that was uh, that was almost too graphic for me. But he's working on making another Spawn movie, and he said it will happen. He already has a source of funding, if not a multiple source of funding. He's just got to find the right, uh, I guess, distributor. But he says another Spawn movie is happening. So that ought to be interesting. I've got, I started collecting Spawn comic books, and I've got a bunch of these figures. Um, I got rid of some of the figures. Uh, I only buy what I like. I, I liked a lot of them, but um, I stopped collecting the comic book. Um, I don't know. I, I can't remember how many issues I've got, but I stopped. Uh, comic book collecting eh, it got expensive, so I started looking at other avenues of uh, collecting or or just buying other other stuff, if you know what I mean. So. Uh, but I'm excited. I, I'm excited that he got the DC license. I'm excited that he's bringing Movie Maniacs back. Uh, uh, he does the Fortnite figures, which are highly articulated, which I, I don't know anything about Fortnite. I just haven't had the time to mess with it. And it might, it's the thing right now. And it's, I hear his figures are outstanding. Um, and it's, he's got such a good feedback, and they're selling good. He's maybe he's come across to the where articulation isn't bad but such a bad thing after all and a new spawn movie so there was a lot of good news in that interview and like i said i'm going to link to it below i found it um exciting and when i find something exciting or something that pisses me off i want to make a video of it and along with some reviews of other stuff too so Tell me what you think. Are you, are you, watch Shardabus' uh, video and tell me what you think. I love reading the comments. Some of the, I mean, the fandom, we are very intelligent. Some of the comments I've got are just like, I mean, they're like little articles. I mean, I just, it, it's so good to know that there's such intelligent people that are fans and uh, not what some not all some media outlets or some cr uh, movie creators uh, tend to think that you know a lot of guys a lot of uh, fan fans are uh, lowbrow or you know uh, they tend to th think of them in a, in a certain way but just remember we're not just fans we're customers thanks for watching and we'll see you next video